If you're looking for something to do while the sun is out, the North End Cornhole Classic is back tomorrow. Many call it the neighborhood's favorite Sunday fun day. State Rep Aaron Michaelwitz is here with <laughs> us. Thank you for coming this morning, Thank making us have. get up and be a little bit active. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> um, we're it's usually we're eating food. <laughs> but you guys are tossing bags for a good cause. Yes, uh, we're raising money for the North End Music Performing Arts Center, or NEMPAC as it's known, uh, for a scholarship fund, uh, the Geraldine Marshall Scholarship Fund, which is a fund that we created uh, almost 10 years ago. Uh, in, in honor of my mother when she passed away uh, to make sure that kids in the North End and beyond get uh, free music, arts, whatever kind of lessons they want at NEMPAC, especially those that can't afford it. So tell us about the event. What can people expect tomorrow when they come to the event? you got to keep their eyes on the ball because there's going to be a lot of bing bags being thrown <laughs> around. But uh, we have about uh, 20 uh, cornhole boards out there. Uh, there's, uh, we have a, a bunch of sponsors, uh, local, local community uh, you know, uh, businesses are helping out, you know, organizing. Uh, we have a great volunteer base. Uh, we have about 150 teams playing. Whoa, uh, wow. So it is going to be a busy day, a long day, uh, but it's going to be fun. The weather is going to be beautiful. Yep. Uh, and so it's going to be, you know, uh, we're going to hopefully raise a lot of money and also have a lot of fun. Why was performing arts so important to your family? So for my mother, my mother grew up in Boston. Uh, you know, she was, uh, you know, relatively poor, and uh, she had a family that kind of took her downtown to go see shows and things like that. So for her, it was always important that kids had access to the arts, had an ability to, you know, to get to see what arts are like. Or, you know, whether whatever they may be, whether it's music or or, uh, or opera or ballet or whatever it may be. Uh, and so for her, that was when she passed away. It felt for me it was the best way to honor her was to create something to allow uh, for us to do that for kids in the North End. And we do have a little cornhole set up here. I'm going to see how good my oh aim boy. is, but oh, that was awful. But why <laughs> cornhole? Why cornhole? Yeah, yeah. I mean, why? Why, uh. <laughs> why, uh, why cornhole? Well, uh, oh! oh! I knew Jacob was going to get it. I, knew it. I, knew it. I, knew it. I gotta redeem myself. So it's a, uh, it's a, um, you know, it's a sport oh. that all ages can like, all, all ages can enjoy. Uh, you know, you don't think necessarily a cornhole when you think of the North End. You probably think of bocce. <laughs> right, yeah. Right. Which, which we, we do a bocce tournament as well later in okay. the year. Uh, but uh, for us, it was more about like how can we get a, a broader base of people involved, younger people involved. Uh, and cornhole, when we started it, you know, almost 10 years ago, cornhole wasn't what cornhole is today. I mean, yeah. now they're talking about potentially Olympic sports at some point in time. It's on, it's on, uh, you know, ESPN and places like and that. Easy. I don't think we would qualify. <laughs> well, anybody can play. Oh. So speaking of that, you had 150 teams, yep. but spectators can still come down. Yes, you can still come down, uh, get a spectator ticket. Uh, all the spectator tickets Ooh, that was nice. uh, go into a raffle that you'll get your own customized cornhole board if you win the raffle. Uh, so there's opportunities. There's also, uh, some, there'll be other raffles involved. There's uh, silent auction items with some great uh, tickets. Uh, you know, a lot of the Fenway concerts that are happening this summer. Uh, a number of the, the Tom Brady uh, uh, Hall of Fame uh, ceremony uh, in a couple weeks. That's up for auction. So there's a lot of good auction items. Uh, we're raising a lot of money and we're having a great time. So Rose Kennedy Greenway. Yep. Registration starts at 11 in the morning tomorrow. What do you hope people will take away from this day of fun? Why is it called Sunday Fun Day? Well, because it's end? just, you know, it is, it's an open park. It's, you know, it's a great day. The weather's going to be great. We want people to just have a good time, come down, positive energy, positive uh, experience, uh, you know, and play some games and uh, just enjoy community, enjoy the, enjoy the neighborhood. And Jacob is delivering a perfect day for you guys. Yeah, yes, he is. Thank you for doing that. Of I appreciate course. it. <laughs>